Shalom, Mer Bays! Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mermaid Zelda slash MZ or whatever the show you want to call me. And today's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog, sit down video, and swimming video all combined because two very exciting things happened recently. Number one, I got my new mermaid tail from Shop Vancouver Mermaid. It's a custom made, one of a kind, sort of like Sailor Moon 2.0. 2.0 tail. I can't wait to show you. So I did a little bit of vlogging when I went to pick up that tail. And then number two, not that kind of number two. Number two is I went to Las Vegas with my friends Ethan. Say hello. Hello. Colin. Say hello. Hello. And Mick. Hi. Hi. To celebrate Mick's 24th birthday. So naturally I had to bring the new mermaid tail along for the ride so that I could take some photos and get some video clips in one of the mermazing swimming pools at Caesars Palace. But I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. So first of all, let's dive into the footage of me picking up my new mermaid tail and seeing it for the very first time. Hello friends, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing good. I'm very hot and warm right now. I just finished doing two Ariel birthday parties. So I am and I look like a hot mess because it's hot out and I am Canadian. So I will complain about the heat because it's just part of, just part of who I am, but like, oh. I feel like I don't look as bad on camera as I feel and I look in person. My makeup's just like smudged, it's hot, it's sweaty. But anyways, today's a very exciting day because I am on my way to a Courtney's house to pick up my new mermaid tail, my custom tail, my Serenity 2.0, Sailor Moon, Rainbow, Magical, Prism, Delight. I'm so excited. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and pick it up and hang out with Courtney for a while. So I thought I'd do a little vlog in case I wanna film my reaction to the tail or anything like that. Cause it probably won't be in a box. So I don't think this will be like a true unboxing, but it's a uh, first impression. I'm getting the thing. So yeah, let's go to Courtney's house and give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up for my Ariel keychain and my Ariel shirt and my Ariel makeup. I'm very Ariel today. Uh, okay, anyways, let's go. Courtney's holding my camera. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go look at it. I'm let's so excited. It. It's so pretty, you can see all of it. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. I get to see it and then you guys get to see it. Oh my God, whoa, look at it, dude. Oh my God, oh my God. It's so pretty, holy shit. It looks like so good. <laughs> ah, I love you so much. I'm it's so glad so you like crazy. it. It's crazy. Like, it, pictures do not do it justice right? at all. Like, I, I knew it. It looks amazing in pictures, but like, oh my god. Guys, look at the scales she did for me with custom scales. I love them so much in my moon, dude. Wow. I feel like it printed like. It printed insane. Yeah. Almost every single layer actually printed on the That's scales. So, like, so even like it's nuts. Like even the moons, yeah. like the ones on my other tail are also amazing, but they look even more like I did punch everything up a little okay. bit, so they should be a little bit brighter, I think, than they the ones on your previous tail. Good. And we got our little like Chimneys. gems, which is so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's flip it. Yeah, flip it over, flip it over. Which way do you want to go? This way? Yeah, this way. Okay. You wink. Oh my god! And I like that this is flat. Yeah. Now because it it doesn't warp then at all. So yeah, it's nice exactly. Just... This is like a better monofin for, for this the one, moon yeah. kind of being there. I love it so much, you guys. Ah, it's so pretty, <laughs> and I love how it's like more pastel on the front. Oh yes, because you got to be right, like a yeah. soft underbelly, a little bit. Exactly, and then the back's more like ciao, ciao, dude. I can't even. I love it so much. The fins are insane. Okay. I'm so glad you like it. I love it so much. Thank you so much. You're it's welcome. So beautiful. <laughs> Look at the eyes. I can't wait. I can't wait. What do you guys all think of the tail? I think it is so stunning and out of this world. I could not be happier with it if I tried and I just love it so, so much. So let me know if you guys have any name suggestions for this tail, probably somewhere in the Sailor Moon realm, maybe some kind of, I don't know, rainbow prism. I think Faith suggested prism, which is a very cute name. So let me know name suggestions down below. Once I got home, it was time to pack my bags for Vegas. And I was originally going to check a big suitcase, stuff the monofin and the mermaid tail and you know, 
all my other things, because, you know, you need other things too sometimes. It's not all about the mermaid tails. But um, apparently, this is the summer of lost luggage, just like, one in 20 people's checked bags are getting lost because all of the airlines are really short staffed, which meant we were allowed to bring like one small suitcase that is the right size and a backpack. So what I did was I kind of stuffed my monofin back behind the backpack, ended up looking like I was wearing some kind of fairy wings or angel wings. And let me tell you, the amount of people who came up to me and said, I like your wings. And I was just like, thanks, because I felt like explaining to strangers that my wings weren't actually wings, it was actually a monofin for my mermaid tail, was just gonna take too long to explain and raise more questions than it would answer. So I just said, Thank you, yeah, I'm glad you like my wings. But anyways, we arrived to Las Vegas and we hopped in a taxi and then we pulled up to Caesars Palace, which was the hotel we had booked at like four months in advance. And I had Googled the pool before we went and I saw that it was like beautiful Greek like architecture. It kind of reminded me of like the Kingdom of the Moon from Sailor Moon, which obviously was inspired by like Greek architecture, but anyways, it doesn't matter. So I was super, super excited to be able to take my mermaid tail there. And we arrived at the hotel, you know, we take some videos, we're taking some pictures, we wait in line and we go to check in. We get to the front of the line and the lady says, you are not staying in this hotel. And we said, um, ma'am, what? What? What do you mean? What do you mean we're not staying in this hotel that we booked in four months in advance? And she's like, oh, we don't have room. We don't have room for you. What do you mean you don't have room for us? And then she says, one of the hotel towers, the power had been out since Sunday. And it was, I believe, Tuesday or Wednesday when we got to Vegas and the power was still out. I don't know why she didn't lead with that. Maybe tell us that first because then that makes a lot more sense. Half of the hotel, I guess, or a quarter of the hotel, doesn't matter. The power was out. So there were hundreds of guests, including us, who were booked to stay there. And they had to say, uh, no, you can't stay here. Actually, we have to put you in one of the sister hotels of Caesars Palace. They comped our rooms, supposedly, but now they're giving us a hard time now that we're back and they're like, we didn't say we would comp your rooms. And we're like, yeah, you, you definitely said you would comp our rooms. So still trying to figure that out. They also gave us a $200 food and drink voucher, which was good. And that will come back into play in a little bit. But yeah, we were all a little bit bummed because obviously Caesars Palace is really cool and it's themed and it's all Greek and there's fountains and it's connected to the shops and it has this amazing pool. So I made sure that we got a pool key to be able to still use that pool. So then we walked to the hotel that we were actually staying in apparently and it was called Harris, I believe. We went and we checked in and then we went Went and kind of checked out the town. We went to some of the restaurants. We went to some of the casinos. We saw like a water show fountain in front of the Bellagio, I think. We saw some very suspect looking Mickey Mouse performer. Wait, is that, is that Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Is that, oh, oh, Mickey. Oh, Mickey, what happened to you? It's not oh, me. it's a fake. It's a fraud. He's a fake! No, no character integrity. No, none at all. Mickey Mouse. Way to just crash my childhood dreams. I know I'm not a child, but it doesn't matter, okay? Character integrity, people. But we had a great time on our first day and night of Vegas, despite a few little bumps in the road. The next day, finally, it was the moment that only I had been waiting for. Not really my three friends. Thanks guys for coming along with me. But it was time to hit up the Caesars Palace pool and take some mermaid photos, go for a swim, hang out by the pool. So we got up, got dressed. I did my mermaid makeup and we waddled over with my little monofin on my back. Casual, walking in Las Vegas. It was like 40 degrees, super hot. Sorry, that's Celsius. If you wanna know 40 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, just Google it. It's hot. It was like 90 degrees, 100 degrees, something like that, okay? Very toasty, very warm. So we got to the pool and it was super, super busy and crowded. We actually only found one lounge chair between the four of us, four humans plus one mermaid tail, but that was fine. And we shuffled it over into the shade. We used our food and drink voucher to buy a grand total of four drinks, one for each of us, at about $30 per drink. 
So that was good. I mean, it was nice to have the little voucher so we didn't have to feel guilty about spending that much money on one drink. To be fair, they were triples at least, but still. But they were delicious, <laughs> would recommend. So we got our drinks and then I got Mick to take about 200 pictures of me in my mermaid tail in the pool. I was like climbing up on top of the fountains and then the lifeguard blew her whistle at me and I'm like, Girl, it's okay, I'm a professional. I just need to climb your fountains to take some photos in my mermaid tail. Like, what's so odd about that? Don't blow your whistle at me, that hurt my feelings. But without any further ado, here is my very first swim in my new mermaid tail. Thank you so much, Mick, for taking all of these amazing photos for me. Massive shout out to you. I had so much fun and I've honestly never felt quite so magical and ethereal as a mermaid. Like I felt like a Greek goddess, daughter of Aphrodite mixed with Poseidon, just like having the best mermaid time. And the photos turned out super, super amazing too. If I don't say so myself. Can I say that? Like, I, th I feel like I can say that, right? It's just, it's like the tail and the photographer and the location. Like how could it not be amazing? I even had a bunch of strangers coming up and asking to either take pictures of me or with me. And I was like, hey guys, if anyone asks, we're gonna say, if you wanna take a picture with me, it's gonna be $20 because we are in Vegas and that's what people do. They wander around in their costumes, whether it's Mickey Mouse or I don't know, something else, and they charge you money. So I'm like, okay, if they ask to take pictures, we'll say yes, but it's gonna cost you. But then people actually did come up and ask to take pictures and I chickened out and just said, Sure, I guess so, okay, make it quick. Hey. Love that journey for me. I had to get out of the tail really quick because I didn't want a line forming because you know, I'm not here to work. If you're gonna pay me, sure, but if you're not gonna pay me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this tail and uh, just enjoy my $3 beverage in peace. Thank you very much. After my fantastic day at the pool was complete, we headed back over to the hotel to get changed for the evening. We went out to the Venetian, which is a hotel, casino, mall, shopping place that has indoor canals, which was cool, but like kind of underwhelming. Like it was cool, but like I was picturing it being even cooler in my mind. And we found a place that was doing happy hour. We got some more drinks and we got some dinner. And then we went over to watch O, the show O, like the Cirque du Soleil show. And oh, it was amazing. It was so cool. The whole stage was water and it would like rise up and become like solid so you could walk and then it would go down so people were like diving in. I have no idea what the physics of that was. I was like so amazed and I really wanted to jump in there. It was crazy. There was like synchronized swimmers and obviously like acrobatics and all of that stuff. It was so flipping cool, like so amazing. And then, you know, we went to the casinos, had a good time. And on our last day of Vegas, we went and did some exploring of even more hotels and casinos because we really wanted to see kind of as many as we possibly could. So we went to New York, New York, which was one of my favorites. And we rode the roller coaster, which was very fun. We went to Excalibur, which is like a big castle. It's like definitely Disneyland vibes a little bit. So we took a little picture in front of the castle and it was really sunny. The sun was like directly in our faces. So I did my best to 
open my eyes and look normal, but it didn't really work very well. We went to Luxor, which is like the giant pyramid place, which was so cool. And they have a Titanic exhibit, which I did not know. But next time I wanna go to the Titanic exhibit, it was, just so amazing, the architecture. Everything in Vegas is massive and extra and next level. We went to 10 at least hotels and casinos and we would try drinks somewhere. There was a place called the Crystal Lounge in the Cosmo, which was probably our favorite place. We went there twice. I think that was the only place that we went to twice because we were only there for three nights and kind of three days, three and a half days maybe. We also went and saw Magic Mike on our last night and we got to throw some fake money at some nice lads. It was a good time, very cool. The shows in Vegas are amazing. We were walking around at night and we also got to take this nice picture with some lovely girls that we met who were like, do you wanna take a picture with us? And we we're like, of course we wanna take a picture with you. So that was very nice and wholesome. And it was just a great time walking around, seeing the light shows, just seeing everything lit up and the Eiffel Tower and just everything is like, oh my goodness, lots of overstimulation, like so many things to look at. I will definitely be going back to Vegas Vegas and I will take my mermaid tail with me again and just keep exploring all of the different hotels and casinos. Vegas is definitely like an adult Disneyland, but just not quite as good, especially in the Mickey Mouse department. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this sort of mishmash vlog, sit down, swimmy video. Let me know if you liked this style of content kind of travel content, vlogs, and all that stuff. I know the swimming video was different because to be totally honest, we filmed it more um, to be better for like TikToks and Reels and not as much for YouTube. So I got creative and I actually really liked the way it turned out. So I hope you guys like it too. And I will be uploading an actual swimming video in the new Mermaid Tail very soon where the camera is underwater and you get the full effect. Swimming in a 10 foot deep pool, doing lots of tricks. I'm with Courtney Mermaid. That video will be coming out next week, I believe. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any future uploads from me. And give me a big thumbs up. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok as well. I'll put that down in the description box below as always. Always. And I think that about does it. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. If it is Friday, if it's not Friday, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you will be having a amazing weekend. And most importantly, I hope I will see you here next Friday ish for a brand new video. And until next time, bye! Mwah.